Live, welcome back to the show. If you just joined us, this is Good Morning Ghana Live on Metro TV. The show is brought to you in kind partnership with X Natural Mineral Water. With me on the show this morning, I have a former Deputy Minister of Communications, Felix Kwachi of Fosu. Good morning, Felix. Good morning, Andy. Okay. Also with me on the show this morning is uh, Junior Papa, <laughs> Junior's dad. Is here with me on the show. Is the MD of STC and a former minister in this republic, Nana Akumia. Good morning, Junior Papa. Morning, Junior Papa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, you also are a junior. No, okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But so, you got So all and Fia and Tessa. And which junior. is the other one? Eh? Junior. <laughs> yeah, and Randy. <laughs> And for a government chair, I don't, you know, you should fly the flag all the time. <laughs> at least, at least their last name is yeah. Abbey. Yeah, but the first name is what people will call you by. Uh, yeah. It's okay. And I, I think we have to have a proper conversation at some point uh, about our culture and identity and you know, names and all of that. Because uh, it's getting worse. Not, now our kids can't even speak the language. Mm. Actually, it's fashionable to speak English with them at all. Sorry? Uh, it's, 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 they they even know to speak English <laughs> at all. They can't even speak local language. I'm sure yeah. if I came to your house and I asked Genia, Kwe, Babia, he would look at me. He would be a story yeah, for you. He would think you're, this... you're a madman. <laughs> serious conversation, national true, true. conversation about this. True. Seriously. True. Mm -hmm. You know, the bigger issue, you know, sometimes um, we, we, we let emotions and sentiments mm -hmm. um, cloud issues that require a dispassionate analysis. Mm. For example, sometime last year, this um, issue about uh, shortage of Ga teachers, yeah, yeah. you know, mm. and some of the schools actually writing to parents mm. and the public to inform mm. them that they won't be able to offer, you know, um, Ga, mm. you know, as a, and people were incensed and enraged, and mm. it was taken from more of those programs. Mm. Is there something that we can do? Mm. You, you understand me? Yeah. So if it is about providing some incentives. Or packages to ensure mm -hmm. that people go. If, for example, mm -hmm. the Ghana Traditional Council decides that it's going to engage government or it's going to engage the business community to put in place a package to entice people or encourage people to take up the study of Ghana as far as teacher training is concerned, so that we can produce more teachers. That will be the way you know to yeah. go. You know, but most of the time when these issues come up, the Emotional beat about it, it takes away everything. Yeah, but I mean, um, the reaction of um, some people, whether emotional or not, should not still detract mm -hmm. from the effort, official effort to correct it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, somebody sitting somewhere may have their own take. There's no problem. But officially, there should be an effort to correct it. What it means is that people don't feel that there are enough rewards in specializing in gun um, as against maybe French or as against maybe Akan. And that if you, if you did Akan, there were probably more employment opportunities and so on and so forth. So having identified that problem, that people, you're getting a shortage, probably because people did not see much reward in it, you need to correct it. Um, because you can't let um, a language... You see, the, the particular the Ghana people, because your capital, I mean, your, your territory is also the capital territory, you would come under pressures, the pressures that other people may not face. Merely because your, your land is, or your territory is also the national capital. It becomes a cosmopolis 
people are coming from all over the, the country to settle in your territory. And not just people in Ghana settling. There are people coming from abroad to also settle in your territory. So you, you, you will be outnumbered in your culture, your language, your... I mean, yes, the media has to raise it, but I would also want to see the traditional authorities, I mean, take up, either invite the um, GS and Ministry of Education and have a conversation with them, mm -hmm. you know, about it. If there are issues, they should be able to tell them so that together we can find mm -hmm. a, a solution to some of these issues. You know, you've, you've, there's always been problems with the traditional leadership in, in, in Ghana. Yeah. I don't know if... Uh, who's, who's the Ghana channel? Uh, I, I don't remember the last time I was hauled before <laughs> court. I want to be careful. <laughs> but actually, I, I read, was it two or three days ago, <coughs> there's been a court ruling. No, the, the regional house of chiefs has made a certain ruling, and I mean it's. it's I don't so, want to wake up tomorrow to see <laughs> another ruling. <laughs> I just tried to. Place it's quite it. unfortunately low. So, I, I so these are problems mm -hmm. with, the, with the traditional leadership. At least I know who the basic man is. Yeah, that one has not been disputed. For me, Thompson. So there are problems. With in, in terms of um, having in place the traditional leadership to take up this, but in, in, in the absence of it, the council exists. The, yeah, the council exists. Yes, the Ghana traditional mm. council exists. Have they done anything about it? Have they know. engaged? I don't know. They should. Yeah. They should. I don't know. The regional, in fact, even the regional house of chiefs. You know, there's a greater Accra regional house of chiefs. Mm. So, mm. if mm. even Ghana is mm. is suffering, then you mm. can, you can, um, you you you. you you can imagine what will be happening to that way, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. which has even been marginalized for quite a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's always like it's played second fiddle to Ga itself. Mm -hmm. So if Ga has problems, then you can imagine. So the regional house of chiefs itself must begin to engage, you know, but you, you would probably, authorities at you, all you, levels. You will realize that probably Dangbe may not come under the same pressure as GAM. I mean, in, in terms of hierarchy, mm -hmm. the average GAM living in Accra may feel that the GAM language should have a certain uh, uh, yeah, ad I advantage. Mean, in terms of numbers. In, yes. in terms of numbers yeah. and in terms of relevance, yes. they would think that the GAM may have some advantage over the Dangbe. Mm. But the Dangbe, they don't have the pressure in terms of people coming into their territory with their culture, their tradition, and their language, and so on. They may not have the same pressure. Mm. Uh, so many is Dangbe, isn't it? Mm -hmm. In those places. They, they don't have the pressure that you would have at uh, at, um, uh, at Abraka. <laughs> you know? Mm. So, the Dangbe may, 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 may laugh last in the end. You, you know, the, 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 why I even raised that issue, that if there's a problem with people training to become Ghana teachers, mm. then you can imagine. But that, oh yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, you know that one, that one, that uh, one, that one, and yeah. and it's something yeah. that mm. they really need to mm. engage. Like like we see on the street, as you they collect the funds, you for do the work. 